while every other MPV in the market fulfills that need, Datsun thought a little differently. They said they're going to come out with a very, very cheap MPV and they already had the Datsun Go platform. So they just added a little more bodywork to it, extended the back, put in two more seats, that's a third row of seats, and here we go, we have the Go Plus. So if you look at it from the outside, there's really not much distinguishing the Go Plus from the Go. Pretty much looks the same at first glance. It's only when you really see both the cars together or if you pay a lot of attention to the Go Plus that you realize this is a longer car. Of course, it's all in the back. The front is pretty much the same. That uh, distinctive Datsun look with the front grille and the headlamps. Uh, nothing's changed out there. It's in the back, even in the back in fact. The design's pretty much the same. It's just the length that has increased and that's really something tough to spot. But you look at the size of the vehicle and you know this is the Go Plus. Actually a pretty clever piece of engineering, the Go Plus, because what they've done is they've extended that bodywork and what that does in fact is frees up a lot of space at the back to fit this third row of seats. Now this isn't anything fancy, it's just a bench with some padding on it and in fact considering the floor height, all you could do is fit in a couple of children at the most. Uh, in fact if you see there's not much storage space behind it with the third row in place, but if you fold that down, you free up a whole lot of space in the back. And if that's not enough for you, you could fold down the second row of seats as well to really make this a cave of a storage space. Powering the Go Plus is the same engine that also powers the Datsun Go. It's a 1.2 liter three cylinder engine. It makes about 68 PS of power and 104 Newton meters of torque. Now you'd think that's a little less for a seven-seater, but we've been driving this car pretty loaded around the hills in Rishikesh and never once has it felt like it's out of breath. It really powers up nicely, drives very nicely, and that's a really, really key advantage of this engine. It's a very drivable car. And in fact, if you look at the ride and handling characteristics, this suspension has been tuned perfectly for India. Just engulfs all of the potholes, all of the speed breakers, all of the bumps very nicely, just like the Datsun Go. And that characteristic truly has carried on to the Go Plus as well. There you go, that's Datsun Go Plus for you. And if you're wondering what kind of a customer is gonna go for this car, well, let me tell you, it's not for the Mobilio customer, it's not for the Innova customer, it's not for the Zylo customer. This, in fact, is for somebody who has a small budget because this car is gonna be very, very affordable. We're thinking it should start somewhere on the five lakh range, which actually makes it a lot of value for money. For the kind of guy who has a small budget, but still has seven people to ferry around, or five people and a lot of luggage.